Well, so. we've got another. We've got another one to, to talk to here. We've, yeah. we've got another. Uh, I'll be another honest. I love, shoot. I love meeting these folks because, like uh, like Scott said just moments ago, we're learning about so many great organizations that are <laughs> yes. doing uh, great work. And one of those places is the Makers Mill, which is formerly uh, the gala in Wolfbury, New, uh, Wolfboro, New Hampshire. Josh Arnold is the uh, executive director of Makers Mill, and he's joining us. And uh, hi, Josh. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Excellent, excellent. That's a great backdrop. That, that is picture. a really impressive backdrop. It looks like you're right in the middle of building something. What's happening there? <laughs> I am. So I'm, uh, I'm beaming in from the construction zone. We, um, we have a, a major construction building project underway, as you, as you just named, the Maker's Mill. Um, we've been working toward this moment. For, well, the organization started about 14 years ago. Um, grassroots, we started off um, launching a, a farmer's market, helped out with some community gardens, food pantry gardens, um, contra dances, all these educational workshops. And a few years ago, we bought a building in downtown Wolfboro. And for the last few years, I've been working on fundraising to raise enough funds in order to break ground on the, the necessary renovations to launch this community makerspace and vocational hub. And we just broke ground last week. So the, wow. I am in, in the middle of a project that has launched. How and great is that? I also that? thought it'd be a little more dramatic than my uh, home office background, which is really just a glamorous <laughs> right. closet. So here we go. How great is that to see that, you know, come to fruition over the course of years? And for people that you know, may not be aware, and Wolfboro is such a beautiful town, when, when you say it's a makerspace and a vocation hub, what do you mean by that? For somebody who doesn't know, let's, let's tell them more about it. Sure. Well, you know, we started again to kind of catch wind of the maker movement a few years ago, and it turned out, you know, it sort of aligned with a lot of the things we had been doing, a lot of this hands-on education, um, community building. So a maker space is essentially a, a, a space where you can come in and exchange skills, and there's, there's tools that you can use. A lot of them operate a lot like a gym where you have a membership and then you instead of access to um, exercise equipment so to say you have access to all these tools so there'll be a wood shop a metal shop a fiber art studio a stem and robotics lab um you know all, all these really fun tools for both the hobbyist or the entrepreneur who's trying to you know prototype or incubate a a, a business an entrepreneurial idea but also, you know, our, our goal is to have it serve the, um, you know, career pathway and workforce development efforts. And I was really pleased to hear a little bit from the gentleman from Community College System of New Hampshire. Um, that's a, an organization we're looking to partner with. You know, here in Wolfboro, you have to drive about an hour to any of those community college systems. So if we can help serve as sort of a satellite you know, classroom in that way, um, that would be a really great service for the community. So there's, you know, uh, there's something for everybody in these spaces, really these these creative community hubs. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark here and guess that funds that you might be receiving from New Hampshire Gives are going to provide things like walls and, and, and flooring and <laughs> stuff to maybe important fill in the things. gaps. Important things. Yeah. <laughs> important things. That's good. At Actually, it's even more exciting than that. We, um, as of now, if everything goes as planned, you know, we have enough funds at the moment to bring the building up to code. But what that's going to leave us with is essentially an empty shell of a building. Right. And, you know, Makerspace is is not just the shell, of course. It's, you know, it's nothing without the people and the tools. So actually the funds from New Hampshire Gives are going to the exciting stuff like the tools and equipment. So the saws, the laser cutter, the, awesome. you know, sewing machines. Um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, there might be some, you know, finished coats of paint and maybe some walls that we didn't quite think of, <laughs> certainly. But um, but mostly the, the tools and equipment that folks are going to come in and use. It's such a great idea, right? Uh, it, it, it's such a great idea that I didn't know it existed. So that's awesome that it exists right there in Wolfboro. But for you talked about entrepreneurs. Let's say there's somebody out there that has an idea in their head and they think it's a viable business or a viable product that can sell, but they don't know how to go about making it or making that prototype. This is a great place to be able to go to and get the resources to actually do that and then move that idea forward. This is the, this is the beginning of the American dream right here. <laughs> yep. This is how it starts, right? <laughs> what a great idea. You know, it, it really, really is. Um, I'm really excited about it. And 
you know, we're, we're not the only, I'm going to give a shout out and a plug to, you know, the other maker spaces in New Hampshire. There's, uh, we're part of a New Hampshire makerspace network and there's, oh gosh, you know, in the teens um, that they're out there. And so it's, it's such a um, collaborative environment and, you know, everyone looks a little different and, you know, so based on that unique community's needs. And so there's only one way to find out, you know, the needs of that community are, and that's to ask. And so, you know, when we started, we did a whole series of these, like, you know, visioning nights and design charrettes. And that's people, you know, kind of laying out the floor plan and this kind of stuff. And we did a tour of some of the other maker spaces, you know, in New Hampshire. Um, and then volunteers came by and started, you know, tearing down walls and just getting started with all this, you know, demolition. And so for the last few years, it's, it's always been grassroots, but a lot of people have, you know, gotten us to the point where we are. And, you know, soon enough, we'll be opening our doors and, you know, welcoming folks in here of, of all the, the hobbyist, the entrepreneur, the person looking for a, a uh, job you know, transition or, you know, career mobility, mm. all, all stuff. That's well, great. Con well, congratulations. That's uh, that's so great. And nice of you to join us. And good luck with the continued uh, building of the uh, the Maker's Mill. And uh, great job so far. And uh, that's one of the great organizations that you can contribute to in New Hampshire. Uh, get, uh, New Hampshire Gives. Josh Otto, the Executive Director of Maker's Mill out in Wolf Nice to meet you. Thank you. That's great. That's, that's great. Cool. And again, so... I, I continue the theme of saying I, I'm learning something as we go. Mm -hmm. I've heard of different business incubators before, but right. I've never seen one structured quite like that, which is a lot more hands-on where you're going to learn how to make the thing and then figure out how to make the business plan. Also, the fact that there are numbers of those in the teens, he said, throughout the, uh, throughout the grand yeah. state. That's, That's just inspiring to me. It really is. I've seen me. business incubators like in the Manchester Mill area, mm -hmm. and I've seen them do that before for, for uh, a number of different like corporate, maybe even white collar kinds of approaches to businesses. Right. So that's mm -hmm. just inspiring. And it just goes to show that there are so many different ways that you can pay it forward with your donations, whether you want to help a cause that's super close to your heart or you are business and entrepreneurially minded and yep. want to be able to jump in like what Josh is able to do and help others figure out how to realize their own dreams in something that could very well boost our own state of government.